Today's topic is vulnerability, so I guess I should start by pointing out that I haven't put out a video in a month. Did I do that? No, Steve Urkel, you had nothing to do with this. Also, Halloween was like two weeks ago. You used to call me on my cell phone. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I'm a sensitive person, and I'm constantly having fight or flight reactions to inconsequential stuff. Did you know that black tea has more caffeine than coffee? Actually, that's not true. Coffee on average has about two and a half times the caffeine as your average black tea. I don't care that much. Oh, okay. He's my friend. He's supposed to care about me. Has this all been a lie? I think the reason I react so strongly to situations like this is because I have this fear deep down of not being accepted. Like showing pieces of my true self only opens me up to have my worst fears about myself confirmed. The thing is, in my experience, this is almost never the case. Here, let's try this as an experiment. Here are some things I'm ashamed of. I mean, I'm taking a leap of faith on this because I could be wrong and then it would have a lasting effect on my personal life and relationships, but ultimately I think it does more good than harm, so let's just hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm often a jealous person. I don't know what my career looks like in two years, let alone 10. I failed algebra one in the seventh grade. I don't know my father. I often feel distant from my friends. I see a therapist every week. I have ADHD. I have a gap in IT. I've had plastic surgery. My hairline might be receding. I don't know. I pay for dating apps. I don't feel close to my family. I'm a sore loser. I don't have enough black friends. I haven't worked out in a month. And this whole YouTube thing is making me realize I'm a narcissist. If you're still here, which you are because <laughs> I can see you, you at least think I'm worthy of your attention. So why is that? Well, our brains are stupid, at least mine is, and there's a double standard. Whenever we're about to be vulnerable, it feels like we're exposing a weakness, but when we see someone over there be vulnerable, we see that as courage. Like, oh my God, look at them just saying whatever's on their mind and stuff. This obviously has exceptions, like please don't share every aspect of your life with just anyone. Hey Joe, welcome to the company at which we both work. How's your week going? Oh, thanks for asking. Well, the wife left and I'm trying to figure out what to do with the kids and my gambling addiction has left me in crippling debt, if you can imagine. And I've murdered all of my enemies, oh. which is great, but I have no idea where to put the bodies. That actually happened. Used responsibly, vulnerability is a valuable strength. During college, I really struggled with showing any signs of weakness because I saw a lot of CS majors measuring themselves by what they knew. I talked about that in a previous video. Then the summer of my junior year, I interned at Yelp. And for my internship there, I was paired with a mentor. My mentor, let's call him JR because that's his name. JR was a senior engineer at the company and he was well respected by his peers. He was really smart, but more importantly, he knew what he didn't know. Until that point, I'd never seen someone who was clearly so good at their job, so openly and confidently admit when they didn't know the answer to a question or a problem or how to use a technology. Hey JR, sorry to bother you. Do you perchance know the intricacies of the MySQL NODB storage engine? Um, no. What? Oh, no worries. Anyway, I still admire and respect you. What? All right, back to cat photos. Interesting. It blew my mind that he could put himself out there like that, but more importantly, it gave me a template for success that didn't involve pretending I knew the answer to every question that I came across for fear of looking like an idiot. What I learned, and a lot of people don't get this, is that it's okay to not know the answers. It's okay to ask for help. You'll be better off if you do. Nothing interesting was ever accomplished alone. I wasn't being evaluated based on my ability to do everything myself with no input from others. It was all about teamwork and putting the well-being of the team or project above my own personal embarrassment. Dr. Brene Brown, who's basically the expert on this stuff, says vulnerability is letting go of who you should be to be who you are, which is like the dopest quote of all time. And JR was the first person I saw never letting the fear of being wrong stop him from doing what he wanted to do. Over the years, I've learned the power of vulnerability, that being vulnerable isn't an option, it's a necessity. Dr. Brown says we can't numb our emotions selectively, so whenever we close ourselves off to vulnerability, we're also closing ourselves off to joy and gratitude and happiness as a result. When I started being more vulnerable, I was surprised to see that I was still accepted and even more endeared to my peers, the ones that Mattered anyway. Being vulnerable is a skill that you can develop and discovering that you can still be accepted after you show pieces of your true self can be a great confidence builder. I know it was for me. So go out there and be yourself. Can I do that? Oh, Steve.
Yo, the video is over, but I have a special surprise for you at the end. First, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like it and hit that subscribe button. And let me know in the comments a time where you were vulnerable and it worked out for the best. Also, I'm on Twitter at Jarvis, so you can hit me up there. So the surprise. If you want more vulnerability for me, well, you're in luck because the last month while I wasn't making videos, I was getting a new podcast off the ground with my friend Jordan. It's called Sad Boys, and every week we take an emotionally resonant topic and discuss our experiences with it. So far, we've had some amazing guests from Simone Yatch, the queen of shitty robots, to channel favorite, Mayuko. So check that out in the description down below. Anyway, we'll see you next time.